Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. In today's session, we are going to deal with game theory. In game theory, we are supposedly focusing on this particular topic, minimax, maximum or saddle point technique of solving a problem. Now, a game theory is actually a very interesting subject to be sought out. And I, first of all, display the question on the screen here we have here we have a pay of metrics now a pay of metrics is always written in advantage of player 1 now we have two players here player a and player b so this pay of metrics is written in advantage of player a well, now what does this mean it means that when the player takes player a1 takes a strategy and player b1 takes another strategy it is of advantage to player A because it is a positive value. Now imagine this is a negative value, which means that this value, this when player A1 takes, player A takes a, a, a strategy A1 and player B takes a strategy B2, that is of advantage to player B2. I hope that is clear. So this is the question that has been given to us. We have player A has four strategies and player B has five strategies. Now let us try to solve this using minimax, maximum or saddle point principle or saddle point technique. Now what you are supposed to do first is you are supposed to write maximum on top and minimax here. Now what goes next is I'll just give some easy tricks for you to solve this particular problem. Now cut that into half. And so what, how can you read that now? You can read that as maxi min. Now do the second half first. So do this first. Now what is it? Minimum. You have to find the minimum of each row. Now find the minimum of each row. What is the minimum here? It is two. So write that two there. Now what is the minimum of the second row? Second row minimum is three. What is the minimum here? Here the minimum is 6 and on the last row, what is the minimum value? It is 2. Now write the minimum there. Now after this, do the second one. What is the second? Second one is maximum. Now among this, what is the maximum value? The maximum value over this 2, 3, 6 and 2 is 6. Circle that, keep it there. Continuing the problem, here we have minimax. We follow the same technique. Cut it into half. Second half is to be done first. Now, second half is to be done first. Now, take the first column and find the maximum value in this particular column. 2, 5, 6, 4. Maximum value is 6. Over here, the maximum value is 7. Over here, the maximum value is 9. Over here the maximum value is 8 and the last one the max value is 8. Next we will do the second operation that is the minimum. Now among these numbers which is the minimum value? The minimum value is 6. So we come to the end of this particular problem. Now let us try to find out two to three things. The first one, what is the saddle point? When minimax and maximum is the same, now here you can see both are the same, it confines to one particular cell. Now this particular cell is called saddle point. Now imagine or just put it to your mind one thing. Saddle point is not a value. It is actually a cell reference. Now how do we call this cell? This is the third row, first column. So it is... 3, 1. Now, 3, 1. So, this is how you note this. 3, 1. So, the cell reference is 3, 1. So, saddle point is 3, 1. And what is the value of the game? 6 is the value of the game. So, we can summarize it like this. Saddle point is 3, 1. Value of the game is 6. Now, since you got the solution, the minimax maximum is equal to saddle point. It is actually a pure strategy. 
Now, I just repeat the steps as how to solve this particular problem of minimax, maximin or saddle point. First of all, write the question and then write maximin over there, minimax over here. We'll do the row operations first. In the first row, take the minimum value. Second first, second half is to be done first. Minimum value, take the minimum values and then among those minimum value that has been calculated, do select the maximum value, select it. Now here you take the maximum value of the particular column first. So we wrote those maximum values here and among those you are supposed to find the minimum value. The minimum value is calculated. If both are equal, if both are equal, it is known as the value of the game. Now we'll get the value of the game here and this particular cell reference is what is known as saddle point. I suppose you understood how to solve a question on minimax maximum or saddle point method. Now keep practicing more and more questions. I'm putting one question for you to practice and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much.